Let me take you on a 10 minute beginner rowing workout. We're going to do this together. You're gonna to follow along with me. I'm gonna set the pace and I may even throw some drills at you to help you along the way. So let's tune in, let's get in and let's get our workout on. I'm not gonna go into any deep detail here before we get into the workout because I'd rather that we just get started together. The things that you need to know, this is going to be a 10 minute workout. I'll walk you through setting the monitor. So you need a rowing machine. You need some kind of timer to be able to time 10 minutes and then probably having some water nearby is gonna be pretty handy for you. If this is your first time here, welcome. I'm Shane Farmer and this is Dark Horse where you build the life that you wanna live and we just happen to use rowing to get you there. Let's just go ahead and set the monitor from the main menu of a Concept 2. Of course, any machine is fine, but we are going to go to select workout. That's the B button, new workout. That's the D button, single time, B button. And we need to change it to 10 minutes. So we'll hit the minus button or C two times, one, two. And that's 10 minutes on the screen. So again, I might be throwing in some drills that are going to help you iron out some of those areas that might be a problem for a lot of people or where we see common areas. I'm just gonna throw in some drills to help you iron those out. But otherwise, this is a 10 minute workout that we're going to do together. The simple breakdown of this workout is going to be one minute, two minute, three minute, four minute. We're just walking up the ladder for the amount of time that we have for this workout. And again, I don't want to overwhelm you with a lot of details. So with our monitor set, let's just get in and get rowing. All right, grab that handle, sit ready at the catch. We are just going to start nice and easy for minute one. Here we go, ready, row. Can nice full strokes, just follow along with me. We can take this somewhere else, you and, me can fight and if you're new to rowing, you're probably thinking to yourself, all right, well that seems like a very slow rate. And that's totally understandable. The important thing to know about rowing is that we are always, always, always trying to work on our push away. We're always trying to push that machine away and teach our bodies how to push on the machine, not pull the handle. And low stroke rates are not our determination of speed. Speed really comes from your ability to put force into every stroke. And once you've learned to connect like that, then you can start actually applying real speed into your workouts. I'm gonna take the stroke rate up two to 20 here. Just follow along with me. We were at an 18. So that is an important distinction to make. Understanding that speed of the system, meaning your stroke rate, doesn't make you go faster. It can. But first and foremost, we need to learn how to create better strokes so that we can put more force or more work into every stroke itself. Now with that being said, I'm gonna throw our first drill at us, okay? In 10 seconds, we're gonna go to arms only rowing. And here we go, arms only. Straight in, straight out. Join me in this drill. You're gonna notice your shoulders start to burn pretty quick here. <laughs> it's one of those good burns. And what I want you to fall in with is my rhythm of the handle here. Where there's no stopping. It's just nice, continuous movement. And in two seconds, we're going back to the regular stroke. That's one and two, back to the stroke. Good, that was our first drill. So the reason that we focus on the arms only is to help you learn just how to create a smooth in-out movement of the handle that is not overly aggressive. Your legs make up very little portion of, or your, <laughs> excuse me, your arms make up very little portion of the stroke. So if you're really trying to grip it and rip it with the arms, then you're gonna be wasting a lot of energy there. And we're gonna go up to 22 right here. So we're taking the stroke rate up two beats. So come join me at this stroke rate. I'm one beat low. There we go. Just a small shift makes all the difference. 
So the next drill that we're gonna run is going to be taking the arms only and adding in the hip swing. And what that's doing is helping you learn how does your torso work, how do you open and close your hips, and how do you create that kind of connection as well as setting the order of operations of the handle and of the body together without the legs. Don't worry, it'll all make sense in the long run. In five seconds, we're going to arms and body only on this stroke. Here we go. So send those arms away first, then close the hips, then open the hips, then draw the arms into the body. This is also a really great way to row if you ever have a leg injury where you're able to fix the seat in place and just row with your arms and body only. Believe me, there's still plenty of good workout to be done here. In fact, even without an injury, this is just a really great form because you still get a good workout. Trunk still has to work. Arms and shoulders still need to work. Back is supporting me. All the good stuff. Lots of good stuff is happening here. In three seconds, we're gonna stop the drill. And here we go, back to the full stroke. And now the fun part is that you get to try and implement the drill. Try to feel how pushing the arms away first, closing the hips and then bending the knees See how that all feels now. Uh, sorry, I forgot to bring that stroke right back up to a 22 for you. <laughs> I promise I'm on it. There we go. There's your 22. So just settling in now, feeling that rhythm. We're gonna take that stroke rate up two more beats to a 24. Here we go. So stroke rate comes up. This may be putting you in a more comfortable stroke rate area than you're used to, or I'm sorry. This may be more comfortable than what we did at the beginning. And I still want you to learn how do you push the machine away? How do you hang off of the handle? How do you use the mechanics that we just implemented with the drilling? There we go. Just settling into our rhythm. How's it feeling right now? Only three minutes left in this workout. You're almost done. Make sure you're pushing hard through the legs. My stroke rate's a little low today. I'm about one beat off. I'm trying to be a little bit more spry for you. In 10 seconds, I'm gonna to go to the next drill, which is legs only. That means the trunk is gonna stay closed, arms stay straight. And on this one, here we go, legs only, join me. Learn how to brace, learn how to push through the legs. That leg push is so important. And if we can isolate that so that our first movement is a push, well then, you're gonna be adding a lot more calorie burn and a lot more speed to every stroke. 15 more seconds of this. And once I give you your hip swing and your arms back, you're gonna be real thankful. <laughs> Two, one, on this one, let's add it back in. How's that feel on the hamstrings? 
Now you should be excited to take those full strokes. I'll bring that stroke rate back up to a 24 for us. There we go. Now you get to enjoy it. All right, put it into play. We only have a minute and a half left. I want you to start pushing. Keep the stroke rate with me, but now use those legs to try and take your split down. Try and go faster, only by pushing harder, not by changing stroke rate. Make the flywheel louder every stroke. Here we go. One minute to go. You got it. Push for one minute and you're done. Work. Come on, push with me here. Nudge ahead of me. Let's drive towards that finish line. Inside 30 seconds. Go faster by pushing harder. Ten seconds. Here we go. Everything you got. Empty the tanks right now. Push hard. Easy. So, I'm gonna encourage you, go join me in the cool down video that I'm gonna have for you. It is going to help you make sure that you bring it down appropriately so that your body feels good moving forward, making sure that, number one, you get good oxygenation in the body after the workout. Number two, your body doesn't freeze up on you. So we're just gonna keep some movement in the next video. And as well, we just get a little bit of stretching in, something good for your body too. So make sure you come join me in that video. And also don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it so you get alerted when we come out with new videos.